Hello everyone and welcome back. I am the Undercover Gamer and we are back into the Darkest Dungeon. Let's just jump straight in, go back to our account and see where the dungeon takes us today. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Okay, let's see where we left off last time. So, Melville is in the tavern, relieving stress. Our other characters are seeming fine. Do we have any items? No. So, I think the best thing to do here... Oh yeah, I didn't... I used all of my upgrades on the wrong thing. So, I can't upgrade their skill levels. So, let's see... Let's see where we will be going in today. So I don't... Mm, that's a short. Complete 100% of battle rooms. Luck be a lady tonight. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's gambling. That's right. Um, clean. Cleanse. Right, because I want to get their skill level up before they divulge into medium levels. We'll go into a short one. Let's just make sure she's okay with the position that she's in. So he does, he prefers that. Uh, okay, they all seem to be in relatively good spots. So if I remember correctly, it told us to bring eight minimum. I'll bring two bandages, six torches, two shovels, and um, yeah. Oh, and a key. One key. Let's jump straight on into this. Uh, how many torches did I just buy? I can't remember. I just clicked on things. Okay, let's jump straight into this. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. Very positive, I think. Okay, so I brought six torches. Let's go straight in. Oh, is that not the length of the room? I guess not. Curio trap. Oh, so who has the higher dodge? You do. So I'll let you be our front man. And we'll move to the next room. Right. Do we have... You are a kleptomaniac, so hopefully he doesn't steal anything. Mm, but what can you do? Wonderful. Okay, let's see your disarming percentage. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll put you front thank you fantastic that's a good result and is this a potential air curial so we oh great i was expecting something bad to happen onyx black like endless night that's very expensive so i'm very glad that we've got that and now we've got a battle okay the surprise that's very advantageous to us so let's jump into this. Let's see what their health is like. So they're all at 12. Uh, protection 15. So a bit of blank of fire will damage a range of us. I'm uncertain of that. I can do 2 to 4. 4 to 8. 5 to 9. I think... Oh, I can't remember where how far he can attack. Let's see. So I can do... He can attack all of them. You're first and second, and you are a healer. Maybe it's more beneficial. Yeah, I think I'll attack the guy at the back. Four health. So, yes, that's perfect. That That's perfect. Let's get rid of him first. Can we stun anyone? Stun. So, they've got relatively low stun percentage. Uh, resistance. Oh, I resisted that. That's not good. Three to seven. No, I think I'd rather try and... I can try and stun them again. Let's try and stun him again. Perfect. So at least we've got one person less to try and do damage. Ouch. Oh my goodness. Yeah, maybe we can heal before they can do any more damage. Hopefully I can. Let's just do some damage. I think that, yes, it does. Perfect. Let's heal you up. Good. That's higher than I expected. And can I... Ooh, seven, okay. So he'll bleed anyway. 
Wonderful. So we didn't come out too negatively. Okay, so what's the torch at? So once we go through, I think I'll light it up. Okay, good. There's no one to fight. Let's keep going. Let's light that torch. I know I can get so much more. What's... Okay. I know that I can get so much more from leaving it a little bit longer so that it gets darker and the prizes or you know, items we can find would be a bit more expensive, a bit more worthwhile. So maybe it is wise to do that in the shorter dungeons. Right, let's, I think it's better... To, oh no! That's not good. Right, so... We will try to stun, I believe, these two. So we'll just go for the ones at the back. See, I don't like that they have the chance to do damage. And it seems like... Okay, let's try and stun. It seems like they don't do too much damage. Oh, you resisted that? Of course you did. Wow. They... Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. I really just want to stun at least one of them. Great. Great, 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 great. Okay, just one to this. It does debuffs, decreases our dodge. That's not good. Oh, I love when that happens. Okay, so now we've got rid of one of them. Let's try and stun this one. Good. Good, that's very helpful. So... I don't like that he's already out of being stunned. 4 to 8. Let's see. So that also last stun. But his stun is quite high now. So it might be best to just try and get rid of the one um, in the second area. Okay, he's no longer stunned. But I can, I can get rid of him now. And because he's bleeding it should get rid of the carcass. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Right, so do we have anything that gets rid of? Doesn't seem so. Yeah, let's just try and damage him. Get additional bleed. Uh, would it be worth? No, I want to heal. I think it's better to heal. Gives him a bit more fighting chance. Now, if I can get attacked before he does, good. That's perfect. Right, let's just get rid of them. Now that these are in our way, that's a little bit frustrating. But, yeah, let's do that. There we go. So that's pushed him forward. So now we can actually damage him. And I think I'll heal. What are you at? 12. Okay, it might be better to heal you. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was really helpful. Uh, let's just attack. We can't... We can try... Yeah, we can stun him. That might give us a better chance to heal again. Can you heal yourself? No. Mark protect. Let's, let, let's just do that. Maybe I should really increase... Attracts enemies and takes more damage. Oh. Yeah, that's... What does that do? Bypass stealth. Can I not? What does that do? Ah, oh. I was trying to prolong it, but there wasn't anything I could do. All right, let's keep progressing. Is there? Okay, let's let's not be greedy. Lovely. Let's go. Okay, torch hasn't gone down. Is this a battle? Yes, it is. Great, okay, at least I'm surprised. So, I'm going to try that strategy again of taking those out at the back. Five to nine. You are slicing dice and you are damaged. The buff character crit chance increased by 4%. Okay, that might be helpful. He marks characters. That's five to nine. So, you can attack everyone at the back oh no three how about no not you you so you can also attack at the back 
So, okay, I think I'll go. I think I'll go after this guy. And is it worth stunning you? Your stun is pretty high. So I think I might make you more susceptible damage. I'll heal you up. We'll go after you. Wonderful. Oh, thank goodness for that. At least we've got one of them down. We'll heal you. We'll keep healing you for as long as we can whilst you're protected. Oh no. Oh my goodness. That is hard. Ooh. Oh, let's push them back. Okay, we might have to try. What can we do here? So we can do... Can you decrease your crit? Or let's go for you. Get rid of the people at the back. And we can stun, so we'll stun you, if possible. Okay, that's good. Let's heal you up. And I don't think it's possible to move forward. So, oh, I wish I could move forward, but I can still do damage to him. I really don't want to take the chance of... Yeah, let's just go for it. That that was a good result. Oh no! Oh, okay, okay. I think does yes, that does cause bleeding. I thought it did. Okay. Don't worry about it. Your hair is bleeding. I do have bandages. I forgot about that. I did buy that for a reason. But it's only you'll only take two damage, so I think you'll be fine. Uh. Plus ten dodge. God's ally. Yeah, I think I need to protect you. Right, and let's try and get rid of... Oh! Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That was perfect. Let's heal you up again. I think... Are you still targeted? Yes, you are. And let's just go for the attack. Just weaken him as much as we can. Punish. Oh, because he's taking the damage for him. That's right. Okay, so let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. We'll try and heal you up if we can. Uh, guarded targets, stuns. Let's just try and stun him. It's worth a try. Heal you. I really wish that was a bit more than, than that, but hey, let's just get rid of him. I think I might have made some uh, mistakes there, but for the most part, I think that came out okay. Let's go for it. Oh, no. <gasps> Wonderful. Let's keep going. I think this needs a shovel. Uh, how much health do you have? 13, 18, 16. Let's use a bandage on you. Yes. Okay, let's keep going. Right, so I don't... So your blight percentage of resistance is quite high. 50%, 40%. So I think you've got a better chance of working with corpses. Okay. I think you can get food from that. Oh, good. I do like when that happens. Oh, when I have enough food. Uh, because it gives them health. I don't think it decreases stress. Okay. Good. That's helpful. So these guys love blighting. I think it's better because he pushes himself to the back. So I might just target him. Get rid of him at the front first. So, oh, so he's, he's already gone. That's great. So you don't really need a heal, but I'll heal you because I'll make yourself get targeted. I'll target you. I'll protect you. Um, is that wise? If I tug, if I make him protect him, he'll take the damage, but his dodge will be up. But he will be targeted. Okay, so at least I'd know who would be attacked. Is that worth it, or is it just worth trying to get stun? Hmm. 
but his dodge will be up. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll guard him. We'll make yourself only one turn. That's not really good. We could try and stunning him. Plus 24 touch. Market sell. Mark, mark sell, not markets. Mark target. Plus 20% protection. Your protection's already really low, so it's not really. Oh. Your protection's really, really low, so it's not really worth it, I don't think. So it might be worth just trying to stun. Good. Some monsters have high protection which absorbs attack damage. Dot, blight and bleed ignore protection and are often effective means to take down the most if highly armoured opponents. Okay. Oh, he's got high protection actually. Oh. Merc, prey, marked. So he'll do a lot more damage now. That was our oh, blight. I don't think I have anything for blight. No, I don't think so. I'll just have to get you healed. Um, marks target. It does do a lot more damage. Can you attack at the front? No, you can't. You'd have to ta attack one of the ones at the back. Um, 48. Minus. Oh, that's pretty good. Decreases protection. Yeah, let's do that. So that he'll be able to do a lot more damage. You'll heal him up. Oh. Oh, Carteret. Is that your name? I think. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, I was hoping that would do a lot more damage, but... What can you do? Is that going to increase blight? Oh. Okay, so they like to jump between each other. That's fine. You do you. Uh, we'll just keep attacking you. We'll just do straight damage to you. Okay. It's not so bad. Yes. That is what I need. So I'll mark... I'll use you to mark him. Oh, please not too much. Okay. What's your... We'll just heal you again. Oh, I was hoping that would be a bit more. Oh. Okay. That's fine. How have you not got rid of him yet? We're just gonna go straight in. There's no point waiting about on that. And we'll just target you. We'll heal. Oh, it's not working the way I want it to. Maybe I should have tried to stun him. But it's fine, it's not really doing much. I don't think I can... Yeah, let's just do... Oh, that, that was helpful. It would have been helpful if they were alive. Oh, come on. It's fine, it's a good time to... <laughs> With these fours, you can't do better than that? Really? Oh, my goodness. He's going to get to do damage again. Oh, goodness. That's not good. That's done. Oh, great. Maybe I'm pushing this on a bit too long. Well, there we go. It's done now. Do we have any anti ven Oh, we're done. Now, let's keep going for now. We can leave at any time, I believe. We don't have to be at a room. Now, we can leave any time we want. That's good to know. But I don't think we can leave in a battle if I'm correct still got a few torches prayers or purities um no it's only it's fine oh come on oh <laughs> it's fine you know what it's fine it's fine we didn't even need it anyway we didn't need it it wasn't anything valuable Okay, let's do this. Five to nine. Oh, that's a pretty good chance. Three to five. So I can take out a few of them. Yeah, let's go for it. And I wouldn't take them out and um, 
in that sense. Six to ten, yeah. Oh no. Let's heal. Oh. That's what I needed. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good for stress. Let's just do some damage straight there. Um, I was hoping you wasn't going to be able to... Okay, that's fine. Oh, I hate spiders. I don't like the look of that. Beautiful. So I'm hoping that this isn't a battle room. That's fine. Let's, let's leave that as that. Let's see what else we've got going. Oh, not too bad. An obstacle. Got the torch for that. Not the torch. A uh, shovel. Uh, let's put you up for it. Oh, once again, it's trapped. But at least we're resisting, yeah, resisting it. Yep, let's use the last of our food. And let's keep going. Oh, scouting, see if there's any valuables coming up. I don't... Uh, yeah, why not? Who's... Yeah, you're a high dis uh, chance of disarming. That's good for your stress. Let's go for it. A handsome reward. And there's no point wasting our time on that. Okay, so we've just completed another short dungeon. We came up with some relatively okay items. It wasn't too bad. Um, I think we made a profit. But we didn't come up with enough of the heirlooms. Here is game resolve XP for each successful quest. Resolve XP in turn determines the hero's resolve level. Resolve level rep represents the hero's veteranship and directly acts as a stress resistance against the horrors encountered in the dungeons. A low resolve level hero that triggers a high level quest will quickly crumble under the unimaginable stresses. Okay. Soft. Oh, great. Plus five scouting chance in ruins. Uh. Not too bad. Okay, so uh. great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. So now that we're back into the town, we can see what's happened while we're away. So we've unlocked the sanitarium, and Melville has become a sure risk taker. So his new quirk is skill gambler. Increase the chance of winning while gambling. So what does that mean? Oh, he's no longer a masochist. That's good. I think. But your stress is still a little bit higher than I would like it to be. So I might have to put you back in again. But it's only a po uh, no, that's still quite high. So so is you it did say that you're better at winning, aren't you? Okay, so that should decrease your stress quite well, I think. Uh, let's go into the guild. Upgrade combat skills. And, oh, still not got enough. We're one away. So I think we'll end this episode here. I'll look in more into... So the sanitarium is most often used to recover negative... Remove negative quirks and treat diseases. But you can also use it to reinforce a positive quirk, which will lock it in place and prevent new quirks from displacing it. You can lock a maximum of three positive quirks per hero. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'll have to look into these quirks. We'll do that uh, offline. So what I'll do is I'll end the episode here. I'll do probably play some of um, on my own time and work on my characters see what we can find if not you'll see the next episode and it's just going to be a progression from where we left off but either way i'll be seeing you